All right, so this is the planning process for a church service on Sunday. Um, so I usually have first thing open is the service plans blog, which I have linked up for you. So here we have all the service plans for at least a year. I started this, I think, two years ago now. So I'm going to start a new post for, let's say, early service. And then, you know, whatever songs I want to do. And then you can search for the chart. And you see, we've done this one before, so the chart is already in there. And like I said, I've, I started this blog a few years ago, so almost everything that we've done is already uploaded into the, um, all, like all the charts and everything are already stored in, in here as documents, or there's even some audio files, MP3s for the choir from the couple of programs we've done in the last couple of years. So that's why I've been um, hesitant to change the name, like the web address, because I don't want to mess it up. I don't want you to lose all of those, all of that resource. So then once it's done, you hit publish, and then I send a link in an email to the band. So um, let's, well, let's pretend we're doing all things are possible. Um, then I'm going to open the April Sings A Lot YouTube, which is where I was posting all the videos. Um, the church has a YouTube channel now, but if you're going to continue posting videos, that obviously would be the place to do it. Um, but for if you're going to need the resource of past videos, they're mostly all here at April Sings A Lot. So... Then if you don't have a chart or you want to do a new song that you need a chart for, the best place to start looking at least is song select. All the login information is also in your um, document under resources. Uh, but let's again pretend we need all things are possible. And then you got all kind of options here and you can see we pay for an advanced version of this membership which allows you to get the chord chart the lead sheet and the vocal sheet that is helpful if you want the choir to sing along so um, if you wanted the choir to sing all things are possible they definitely like to have sheet music for that you can change the key if you want to do it in a different key and then if you need to change the octave you can even do that it's amazing also, you can make the size a little larger. Sometimes we have people with uh, challenges with their sight, and so that can be a great resource if you need it. Let's go back to the home so I can show you as well. But if you needed, let's say the um, pastor is preaching about adoption or a there's going to be a dedication or a death or whatever, you can search by theme and then you can refine the results usually if you refine by popularity you're going to get um, a better idea of you know familiar songs they're going to be more familiar um, so that's a little overview of the planning process and what goes into it i hope that helps um, i think that's all i have to say